Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. Sorry it's taking me so long to get through this playthrough, but uh, like I said, I'm spending actually most of my free time creating the mod itself. The mod is very different to what you see here. It's much, much better already. But uh, let's get into this. Let's get another episode down the pipe. I think we're doing very well here. We actually have one, two, three. We've got three gates on the table. We have a fourth gate coming through here because she is blessed and has voice of Ra and has four law. And we do have, a, don't we have a, I thought we had another elder sign on the table. It does not appear we do, but we have a, so yeah, we, we, we're going to have four sealed gates any second, hopefully, if we can seal one today. And we only need six to win. So we're doing pretty well. Now, one thing I did note is that I forgot, I've been forgetting to roll for my blessings. Uh, I should probably read the rules before <laughs> I make these videos. Uh, I just, you know, because I play this game quite a lot over the years, like kind of going off memory, I just completely forgot that blessings and curses need to be rolled for each turn. So I'm going to roll three dice for each blessing. I don't know how many rolls I've missed and we'll just see how we do. So basically we roll at the start of every turn and on a one they get discarded. So we rolled a five, a two and a three, no deal. Uh, she wrote, let's roll three for her. Come on. Okay, we have a four, a two and a six. And there's another blessing down here, I believe, yep. Okay, so that's two and some successes. So everyone's kept their blessing for that round and I'll roll another single die on these upkeeps. So we're starting with Jenny. First thing I should do is roll the die for the upkeep and gain a dollar. Okay, so she keeps a blessing, noise. And where is she? Okay, so she is Wait, have I done this turn? Have I loaded up the wrong save game? Let's quickly check I've loaded up the right save game. No, this is the save game. Okay. Yeah, this is the save game. Yeah, I knew we'd close one already. Yeah, so we've got one, two, three, four gates closed. We have Caroline in the first level of the outer world, and she has tons of clues you've got eight clues and yeah so yeah this is the situation but what we do have is this horrible disturbance of the dead rumor which can actually lose the game for us so we've got to discard two gate trophies now the only there's two people with gate trophies we have amanda she has uh the relier gate and we have gloria who's got this gate now gloria is blessed and Gloria has a law of four. And yeah, so we need one of these girls to get through a gate as quickly as possible. So we can get two gate trophies because the way you stop this is by discarding two gate trophies. It's hugely expensive. And what that really also means is that we're gonna be down down two blessings but anyway let's uh, see what happens it's actually amanda's turn and i've already rolled the three dice and jenny's die for the blessings let's get into it with amanda so our job now is she's going to go one two to south church and she's going to do a blessing we'll just leave all that the same what I might do is I might just go one, two with her with her focus. Because she has three focus, when she's in this sort of position, she can basically max or minimize anything. Okay. She goes one level up. Now, you don't create movement points, so I think what she's going to do is she's going to use her one, two just to drop her focus so she gets some extra speed 
uh, drop her focus so she gets some extra sneak. And I'm not going to cast Voice of Ra this turn because I don't really see the point. We've only got four stamina. Do we have anything that gains? Oh, wait, she's got Fine Gate. Uh, yes, we are, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast Voice of Ra, which is... So let's go one, two. So she's going to go Voice of Ra, which is four die. Okay, that's a pass. That's minus one sanity. But she also gains a sanity on her upkeep, so she stays at four. She now has an extra die. And then we're going to go find gate. Cast an exhaust to immediately return to Arkham from the outer world. So that is another... She rolls a five die now, because even though it's minus one, she's got the plus one from Voice of Ra, which is an awesome card. And that's minus one sanity. Okay, so that's a pass. So instead of moving to the second stage, she's going to pop straight out of the outer world. Yoink. And she's going to come down here. Yoink. And because she has a explore token, she doesn't actually need to fight all these monsters. Let's just have a look and see how capable we are of killing these monsters regardless. We don't have to fight them. And remember, we haven't used her two focus yet. Okay, so this one is a drop of three sanity. So she'll be rolling four dice for that. And the stamina will kill her. She needs three hits. And she's got nightmarish. So if she passes the sanity tech, she needs to kill three. These are... She has... Hasn't got the best of... She hasn't got the best of... Uh, weapons. She's got a plus six magical and a plus six physical. So she is... Currently, she's at... Six... Seven, eight... nine because of voice of Ra, so she'd be rolling eight non-blessed die to hit three hits and this is a uh, two hits to kill this person this is actually a very difficult test for her because hmm. and also because she cast fine gate she's now outside of the ancient tome uh, she's now outside the other world but because you generate your movement points at the start of the turn, I don't think she can use the Ancient Tome. So the question is, what I'm going to do is, uh, she has eight clues. I'm going to go one, two with her thing. I'm going to fight these guys. So we're going to start with the physical resistance we're going to start with the dark one so her so the modifier is zero right so she has one will which means she gets to roll two dice because of voice of Ra and we have quite a lot of clues here you blammo we need one success come on you can do it oh okay so that's a fail I'm gonna just use one clue come on Okay, now use one more clue. Can't use any more clues. Okay, and now I'm going to use Mandy's ability. Come on. Oh, hey, on the last roll. Okay, so we've passed the sanity test, but it does have nightmarish, so we drop another one. And now we need to actually kill him. So we've used Mandy's roll. So that is... Uh, three nightmares. So we've got the Sword of Glories. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
plus one from Voice of Ra, minus one. We need three successes off 10 dice. This is, why did I do this? This is terribly hard. Uh, beautiful. Three successes, he's dead. He get blammo. And now magical immunity, we have minus one, which means we get to roll one die. Don't care if we if we fail this because we can. Oh, we pass anyway, so no sanity or loss. And now using the Tommy gun, we have six attack plus four plus one from Voice of Ra minus three, and we have eight die to hit uh, one success, which we really should be able to pass. Excellent, beautiful. Okay, so that was very very expensive three four five six seven eight nine we've almost got ten monster trophies the ten monster trophies you can uh, get the Arkham you can become the deputy deputy of Arkham I've never I've never really become the deputy of Arkham it doesn't seem worth it at all so we've got like what do you get you get a crappy gun that's plus three to combat checks whatever you gain a dollar every turn, which is pretty damn good. So basically, with the patrol wagon, you can just teleport anywhere into Arkham, anywhere around Arkham, which is extremely powerful, especially in the end game. But every single time you have a combat, you have to roll a one. So you want the patrol wagon to go to someone with a very high sneak, so they just uh, don't do combat. I think sneak is part of combat, though. Either way, it's actually quite easy to lose the patrol wagon I just don't know if it's worth spending 10 toughness over getting two blessings or something anyway so that was a pretty decent turn for her so now we have Mandy so Mandy is in the administration okay so Mandy's got uh, two okay she has seven clues as well I think Mandy is going to go one, two, three to the hospital. Gloria, we wanted Gloria to get in here, didn't we? Oh, we're gonna have Gloria go one, two, three, four up to here. So that is two, we didn't cast the voice of Ra and we'll take two dollars away we're going to use that to heal herself okay sweet now when she passes through her is there anything she wants to give her oh, I've got to roll her one die see if she's still blessed nope she is still blessed um Yeah, we'll just give these weapons to you. What has she got? She got one, two, three, four, five. She can bless someone. So she's gonna go. Okay. So now this guy, he's got three dollars. Has anyone got? Who's got the money? Jenny has. He's gonna go one, two, three, four. Let's have a look at this. What have we got here? He hasn't really done anything this turn. Overwhelming physical immunity. We've got another fine gate. Here we have wither and shriveling, and we've got the red sign. And he's got five sanity right now. And we've got plus one will. Maybe it's time for him to do some combat. I don't want to, I really want to keep these monsters with the same people so they can do, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two, three, he's got five movement, one, two, three, four, five to Velm's diner, and while he's there, he's going to give three dollars to Jenny. The Doc. 
what's the doc got? He's got a 45 automatic, a Derringer, and the Holy Water. So he's kind of out of gas right now, isn't he? Yeah, okay, so actually he is not going to do this, so he's going to give the the $3 back. Okay, so he's actually is going to do this. So he's going to go 1, 2 into here and fight these two monsters. And while he's here, he's going to give the $3 to... No, he's going to keep the $3. Okay, so now that he's in here... Uh, what we're going to do, he's, he doesn't need to move that. So he's still got two focus left. So his will is, so he can lose a total of two will. So let's just test it out. He's maxed at moment. So he can lose two will, plus he can lose one for shriveling, plus he can lose one for the red sign, and that's it. So even if even so even if he fails the horror check and he can cast all his spells without dying. So I think we're definitely pretty safe here. So we'll start with the bad guy first. So we are going to roll one die. We've got no re-rolls. We've got a couple of clues. He's not really going to close any gates, so we're happy to spend these clues, but I don't want to. So we need one success, but we should be able to get away. Woohoo. Okay, I'm actually gonna take the sanity loss. And now we need to fight this guy. Grug is awesomely bad. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna cast Shriveling, which is four dice and sanity loss. That's a pass. We cast Wither, which has no sanity loss. So that is uh, just five dice. Hmm. I wanted to cast this as well. So this is four dice and one sanity loss. Okay, so what this says is that you cast it and you can lower a toughness by one. So now we only need to hit two hits on this guy. I completely screwed up my counting. Uh, we wanted one more sanity than that, so I'm just gonna spend a clue and spend try and get that sanity back. Beautiful. So that gives us our uh, two sanity back. Okay. So, if I counted properly, I would have done that the first time <laughs> for some reason. Oh, I had a plus will over here as well. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Whatever. Anyway, let's do this. So now we only need two hits to get this guy. So we have shriveling, which is plus six. We have Wither, which is plus three. We have Fight, which is plus two, minus two, which is nine dice for two hits. And he has Overwhelming, so we lose a, uh, a hit. And we Pulverize him. And then we have this guy. So this guy, he has Physical Immunity, but we're using Spells. We have no Sanity Loss. So we're gonna cast Shriveling again which is minus one sanity. We roll uh, five die. Oh, and we miss. Okay, so what does this give us? This will now give us two plus one, two, three. So the thing is I could spend a die to get a success to get shriveling which gives us more dice but if you're spending a die and getting success I only need one success to kill him so it doesn't really help us so I'm now going to cast wither oh 
Oh. So now we have two dice. This is unbelievable. Okay, so we now have two dice, uh, which means we have zero dice because we failed our wither and our shivling roll. But we can now spend clues. So first we roll one die. Okay, let's roll another die. Uh, okay, we do it on the second die. And that's what I mean by we may as well fail the rolls and just, just spend the clues on the actual rolls because it's the same amount of clues. Okay. We do kill them eventually. That was a little bit more difficult than we want. There's the, that's the problem with spells. <laughs> Okay, so we did clear those monsters though. Okay, now this guy. He... Who has the motorbike right now? There's motorcycle. We should have two motorcycles. There's the other motorcycle here. One, two... Okay, he's going to go one, two, three to Velm's Dimer. Means we just need to push this over one. Uh, keep his luck up. Yep. Okay, uh, I think I'll drop his will down as well with his other focus. Meanwhile, over here, we have to roll one die for the Blessing. Okay, that's a pass. Now he has the motorcycle, so he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think he's going to go one, two, three, four into Mars boarding house. That will require him to use the motorcycle, of course. He's also got the healing stone, which gives him will give him another sanity, and I'll use his. focus to go one down here. He got no tomes, does he? No. Okay, Jenny's turn. She also needs to roll for the blessing. Okay, it's a pass. She gets a dollar. And then she's gonna go one, two, three and take the three dollars from this guy. Uh, let's just take one dollar. You can go heal his sanity again. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. You can do a blessing. Okay, and that is the end of that. So let's do the thing. So she is in the South Church, but she's going to discard this to bless uh, this girl here. Okay, she is now going to close and seal this gate. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six clues. And she has a law of five, but she's also got plus one from Voice of Ra, which is still active. So she has six dice blessed, minus one, but because of uh, let me turn off those things at the top. Because of Yog, it's actually, the difficulty is increased by one. So it's actually two successes we need, which we should definitely do with a blessed die. Beautiful, just made it. So that's two successes. So your blamo, your blamo. And we have another sealed gate. That's one, two, three, four, five seals. Okay, Mandy is in the hospital. 
Make a luck minus one check. If you pass, you realize Dr. Mortimer is sneaking up behind you with a hypodermic needle filled with phosphorescent gel. You avoid his experiment and subdue the mad doctor. The city awards you $3 and you gain two sanity in the process. If you fail, okay, so we really want this luck minus one. Her luck is two, so she gets to roll one die, but she also has the lucky cigarette. So we're gonna, we definitely wanna do this. And we get uh, $3 and two sanity. Boom. You bloom. Beautiful, we get a, we get a pass. So we get three dollars, one, uh, one, two, three, and we get two sanity. What a nice, nice. It's unusual, we've got sanity back at the hospital. Okay, she is in, where did she go? She went to the, yeah, okay, so she's spending two dollars, one, two, And getting a sanity back. Dexter is in the streets. Vincent is at Velma's diner. Velma comments on how skinny you look and gives you a sandwich on the house. You may search the common item deck for food card and take it. Nice. Uh, this allows us to regain stamina. This bloke here is, he's at the boarding house. Staring at a painting in one of the rooms, you find yourself drawn into it to make a luck zero check. We have a luck of two. If you pass, move to the dreamlands and have one encounter there, then immediately return. Okay. So we, if you fail, move to the abyss. <laughs> okay. So we get sucked through a mirror, nice. So what are we, it's a luck zero check. So his luck is two. Okay, that's a pass. So we go to dreamlands. Where is the dreamlands? It's one of these ones, right? Okay, blue. The Dreamlands. A thief attempts to rob you. Pass a sneak zero check to notice him. If you fail, lose half your items. And half your money. Okay, so his sneak is at two. Plus one. So that is three for one success. Stop staring at that mirror. Okay, so that's a pass. Nothing happens. Okay. Jenny is at the curiosity shop. So she's going to use the ability and try and dig out that. There's one, there should be one more elder sign. Oh, shit. I just uh, drew three of the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, what is it? G, one, two, three. There's one more elder sign in here. So we have five, that's one, two, three, four. We need to save four bucks so we can uh, buy the older sign next turn because there is three cards in the deck, which means next dig is going to get the elder sign. So we need four dollars left over because she gains one. So that's five dollars to spend. So this is out. What's this do? Lose two stamina and discard blue watch of the pyramid to automatically succeed at a combat check or a fight or law check. Okay, well that basically is a free gate close as well. So we're definitely gonna take that one. So that is four bucks. Okay, and that is the run. So now, at the end of every missile phase we do this. Sneak checks in Arkham are made at a minus one. Will checks are made at plus one. So this should have one less dice when we did that sneak check. And we had all these extra bonuses on the will checks, which I've forgotten to use. Okay, we still pass that. Okay, whatever. Mythos card, yablamo. 
Invi uh, okay, first we have a Silver Twilight Lodge, which has a Elder Sign, so nothing happens. Monsters do move, though. We have... S we have... Hardly any... we killed all the monsters. We've only got... we got one back a key. I'm just going to send... Well, there's only one person in the streets, so it has to go straight to the dock, to the to the magician. And that's it. Wow, we are we we're just caning this. Okay, a glue a clue appears at the graveyard. Ghouls, former spawn, shagos, and flying polyps have their tussness increased by one. Things of darkness. Okay, luckily there's none of them on the table. And that is that turn. So we're doing very, very well here. Oh, this guy returns back to where we came from. Where was he? He was at Mars boarding house. Okay, so we have no gates open at all. So we can't actually... Oh, wait, now we need to do the, the dreaded roll. So we roll one die. Okay, we rolled a three. On a one or a two, increase the terror level. So that does nothing. Okay, so that's the end of that. I was a bit rusty because it's been so long since I've done a turn, but we're doing pretty well. I'm fairly, I'm pretty confident we're going to win this. It's kind of annoying that a gate didn't open. Actually, I want a gate to open. I mean, we've only got three doom tokens out. <laughs> I thought the eight player game was going to be super hard, but it's actually got, there's a lot that makes it easier. You have so many items on the table, so you've got so much power. As long as you're doing correct, as long as you're thinking about trading every turn, basically you can just sort of move the cards around the table so everyone's got, real, is really strong. And it's a lot easier to control the monsters. I thought with monster, with monster surges, we'd be getting, you know, so many terror levels but it's actually been very controllable. We've been able to clear almost all the monsters every turn. And by clearing so many monsters, we're actually getting all these blessings. Mind you, I did not roll for blessings for about a couple of turns. So that's probably why we're doing so well. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and a side note, the mod is almost ready to release. I'm just filling it now with a little bit of content, a little bit of extra content. I want to have more investigators and more cards available on the first turn, uh, first release. Uh, so I reckon it'll be out probably by this weekend. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.